Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create your first test using TestNG framework. Now, in the last tutorial, we have seen some of the benefits of using uh, the testing framework like JUnit and TestNG. And we have also seen why TestNG is preferable and the steps to install TestNG in your Eclipse ID. Now, after uh, the installation of TestNG, what we'll do is we'll create a new uh, Maven project and then we'll create the first test using TestNG framework. So let's go ahead and uh, create the project. So go to file a new and project and select the Maven project and uh, we'll just skip uh, the archetype uh, selection and just click on next so group id will provide something like com.rcv academy and then artifact id is the unique you know uh, basically the group id is the unique uh, id most probably you know like uh, most usually used uh, the domain and your company name and then artifact id so for example your specific project or vertical uh, so in this case i'll just say um, uh, web portal all right as the project and then click finish all right so you'll see that uh, the web portal maven project has been created and if you expand you will get all the uh, packages that are available there so SRT, src test java so we have seen all the details about the maven project in the previous tutorial so you can go through and watch the previous tutorial if you haven't gone through so we'll create our you know test cases in src test java folder all right so to create you know like a new test we'll simply first uh, do a package so we'll create a package and i'll say you know um, ui i'll give give a name ui to the package and within the package i'll just create a new class all right so what i'll do is i'll just say login okay and uh, just put it uppercase so login and uh, so we usually in you know like in java uh, class you most of the time if you want to uh, you know we always selected this public static void main right so we always had uh, this particular you know main method and only then you will be able to execute this particular uh, you know class in java but when we are using any you know like uh, the test ng framework we don't need this main method anymore and uh, how we are going to execute our you know classes and methods within that it's basically through the annotations that we uh, that are provided by testng so in testng you don't need any main method what you simply need is you just need your uh, normal you know like the class and the methods within that class and the methods will be mostly your test cases right so here say for example you know i have created this login test okay so I, what i'll do is i'll just let me uh, you know rename it so login and then test okay so this is one of our test okay so the class login test and within this login test i i'll have the methods or different uh, you know test cases that are uh, to be used for the lo uh, for testing login test or login functionality of any application okay so what we can say is here simply i can say um, public void and then i can say um, login test all right so just a method uh, login test method within this login test class and i'll just you know print some text on the console so login uh, is successful all right so i'm just trying to show you the uh, test ng functionality and how you can use annotation to convert your normal you know like method and uh, the steps that you'll write within the method into a test case so usually you know, like you will be uh, in your test automation you will be uh, creating the class and the method uh, and you will have certain steps so for example in the selenium web driver case we'll have you know um, opening the url and then uh, sending the keys into the username and password and then clicking on the login button so that will be your login test and all that code will come between you know this you know these two uh, parentheses uh, and 
in order to convert this into test ng test case what we have to do is we simply have to append uh, 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 the annotation at the rate test and if I add at the rate test and hover over this you will see that I have two quick fixes add test ng library right so if you just click on that it will add that library into your project you can see that test ng library has been added in your maven project because we have added or installed this add-on into eclipse and then you import this test org.testng annotation right so make sure you import from the test ng and not the junit 4 library so we import test ng annotation and now you will see that i have the option to run this particular method or run all so if i click on run now and save this and uh, now we'll see the execution happening okay and you will see login is successful and the login test has been passed and the output is pretty uh, clean and clear of what are the tests that had been had been run and what is basically passed and fail and skips right here in the right hand side you will see the tests that have been passed or failed all right so that's how you will create your first test and uh, the test will be basically you know like the, the key thing to remember in test ng's annotations and the test annotation if we go through the documentation of test ng so if you go to testng.org and go to the documentation and in the documentation we sim will go to annotations right so if we go to this test annotation there are a lot of you know attributes that are uh, available for the test annotation so these are all attributes that will cover step by step and uh, then you know we'll cover some of them in this tutorial as well so for example priority okay so priority is something in this particular class say for example i have the login test and then there is another method um for the logout okay so i'll say logout test and this uh, method has the functionality or the steps to where uh, to perform the logout functionality okay so logout is successful i'm just printing that so if i want to have this method or add this method as a test i simply have to add the annotation if i don't add the annotation this won't be considered as a test if i simply save this file and run it so only one test will be executed because the second method is not considered as a test if i want this method to be considered as a test i have to add the annotation test as well and now you can see that i get the run uh, option for the second method and then if i'll do run all it will execute both the test cases right so you can see that both the test cases got ran and um, passed okay so now the next thing is basically if you see if i change this um to say for example b login or a login i want to show you how the execution happens or what the sequence of the execution is so if if i run these test cases again then you will see that a logout test got executed first right and then b login test got executed so basically test ng executes your test cases alphabetically or the methods alphabetically okay if you want to specify the specific priority what you have to use is the attributes that are provided so if you see that you know um, it has uh, it provides the annotation along with the attributes so, the, so basically if we go to the test annotation there are lots and lots of attribute right so uh, the attribute that will define the priority of the test cases is basically the priority okay so lower priorities will be scheduled first so how we can schedule say for example i want to specify or i want to run the login test first before the logout right so what i'll do is i'll simply say priority is equal to one right and then for logout i'll say priority is equal to two okay so in that case what will happen is uh, that login test will be executed first because the priority is lower and logout test test will be executed after the login test so if i execute this again then you will see that the login test got executed first and the logout test executed afterwards okay let's go to the attributes again 
and so we have covered this priority let's see what else uh, is available there so description is something which we can cover so there are a lot of other things which we'll cover in the future tutorials um, so for example data provider data provider class which is for uh, you know like the data driven testing um, so description is something you can specify the description of the test so if you want to specify multiple attributes just comma separate it and say description and you can provide this uh, description as a string okay so i can simply say uh, this is a login test okay and similarly i can provide the description for the logout test as well right and here whatever description you want to specify for that particular test you can specify and that description will be populated in your test results okay so you can see that uh, along with the method the description will be uh, printed out as well for your test cases so this is you know like a very brief and very basic introduction of uh, you know test annotation and how you can create your first test case in test ng utilizing the test annotation and very basic attributes that are you know required to specify the priority of the test execution and uh, the description so in the future tutorial we'll cover a lot more detail about the test ng framework so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching